glad we're back with some more Prison Architect. A game I probably shouldn't be playing right now. I should probably be playing something else, but this one's kind of taking up space in my brain, and I just got to scratch that itch. And right now, I'm trying to figure out how we can spread these guys out. The problem is, the closer they are all to hanging around with each other and in groups, the more likely they are to shank each other. So, so far, we've had a few fights. Nothing serious. We'll have to figure out a way to maybe spread them out a bit more, maybe get uh, more yards and things like that. But for now, let's just keep expanding at our prison. We've only got 60 prisoners so far, and I think I'd like to expand it out to, well, an even hundred. In fact, the plan would be to get up to about a thousand prisoners, just to see what it takes to scale up to that far, and, well, deal with all the problems that causes us when you do it. Because you know when you scale up something, something has to break. The game has to break in some way. So let's just chuck some stuff in right here. When we're building these cells, we don't assign them as cells just yet. We also make sure it's walled off from the rest of the prison so we don't accidentally, you know, let prisoners out. As well as that, even if they could get through here, they still have to pass through a staff door, another staff door, and a prison door. So we're definitely making far more effort to not let prisoners randomly escape by accident because it's worth a lot of money. We're currently getting an extra 6.8 grand in bonus cash, which is pretty much all of our money. Well, all of our income is coming from that, so you do want to prevent prisoners from shanking your staff and well, I mean it doesn't matter if they shank each other it seems that doesn't reset that cash bonus it's only if they actually shank your staff or if they escape the prison they're the only things I don't even think deaths count so long as actually yeah deaths don't count so long as it's not your people that die that's really handy all that means is we have to keep the prison just to a certain level and we're fine no oh, and quick build here is very handy for just cloning this stuff in I usually try and do about three cells at a time yeah, we'll leave out that last one. The problem is if I try and build that last one, it'll overlay the wall and cause all sorts of problems. We'll do that last one in a minute. And that is one beautifully completed prison cell. And then all we do is we just deconstruct the front wall. Boom. And we've got a new wing open that we can put more prisoners into. Well, once we turn them into cells. But uh, I've been having another idea I'd like to play around with. You see... Through here, what we theoretically could do to expand out how much space we have is instead of having a hole here, just have nothing but doors. Uh, I was doing some testing on a test map, and you can literally line this entire corridor with doors, and that gives you two extra spaces in each room while still having taking up the exact same amount of space. It's annoying, but it allows you to use this space. But then I thought, started thinking, why am I doing that? What, what we're trying to do here is minimize the amount of stuff the prisoners have to come down here for, which is basically food, the yard, and the common room. So what I was thinking, why don't we just put some prayer mats in here? See, prayer mats are one of the things they go for for their spiritual stuff. However, if we were to say put, eh, let's say one prayer mat there, eh, every second row we'll put in a prayer mat, let's say. Right? We put in a prayer mat there, there, and there. Problem is, that's not enough. As in, they won't use them. Even if the prayer mats are there, they won't use them because they have to be in some sort of room. So what if we just make it a common room? Uh, common rooms don't require, well, anything. There we go, we've got a common room. And there's someone actually praying at that mat. That's all it required. We just organized it as a common room and this corridor now has function. In fact, a uh, phone? Yep, we can put a phone boot down the end here. There we go. Put a phone boot at the end of the hall. Everyone can do their calls in the morning or evening or whatever. And this area, which used to be dead space, is now useful for something. In fact, I'm thinking we could also put in a yard. See, we've got a yard down here where everyone goes to do stuff and things. However, let's see. Oh, wait, what's... It's required to be secured behind at least one door and has to be a minimum size of 5x5. Five five. This, all actually very achievable with a little bit of sneakiness. Let's just put a door right there. Oh, actually, wait, that's the right way. Let's do it the wrong way for this one. And uh, then we'll put in the room itself, uh, which will be a yard. Now, if we tried to put the yard like this, it won't work. It needs to be a 5x5. Five However, uh, yeah, right about, nope, not quite, there. It's now a 5x5 five five block, and then all the rest of it is still technically a yard. So what we can start doing is moving yard stuff from down here to up there. Uh, give me one minute while I do a little bit of moving. I think, I think I've nailed it. Well, okay, I've got an idea, and hopefully it works. Oh my god, what is with that guy's head? Wow, okay, that is a, oh, his head's completely upside down. He's doing one of those possession things. I was wondering what, what, like, how do you have hair that looks like that? And then it, yeah, never mind. I'm getting distracted. Where were we? Ah, yes. The yard. So, common room down here, yard up here. And you'll notice that this yard's got a bleachers, a little bit of a chest table, a couple of chairs, weight bench, and a phone, and a bunch of those prayer mats. I might move those prayer mats down to the common room down here. 
But what we've got here is 20 prisoners in this section. They have a common room right in the hallway with lots of prayer mats and a phone. And then up here, we've got an extra 16 prisoners. Uh, three solitary confinements, just in case any of the people in this block go nuts. We dump them in there. And then at the very end, we have our little yard with all of the necessary stuff to keep them happy. Bleachers, phone, booth, the, the, all, all that. And then if we scroll up a little bit, we have a complete duplicate of that. 20 prisoners, common room, 16 prisoners, three solitary confinement cells, bleachers, weight bench, chairs, all that done again. And then up here, nope, we're out of space, so we're going to buy this. It's 20 grand. I don't care. Yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Now that we've got that space open up, we can put in one more row, and that'll take us up to 108 prison cells if, once we add this on, just got to do a whole bunch of building. And what the hell? Parole hearing guy. You have to walk from the edge of the map? That is a long way. Also, these door, door servos are hooked up to the uh, the automated door facility, so so long as we have our guards back there, they can open the doors for us. All right, give me a minute while we expand our walls. As we're expanding, you can see that our prisoners are not really compressed into any one area. They're all spread out nicely. I think we're going to get rid of this yard. In fact, we can totally get rid of this. This frees up a bunch of space down here. This, okay, I'm not going to say this is a great idea yet, but it seems to be working. In fact, I've been thinking we could compartmentalize the kitchens. That's the next big bottleneck is having everyone come down here. And according to the wiki, one serving table can support 40 prisoners. So if we break down our kitchens into smaller sub-kitchens, say over here, we have one kitchen capable of supporting 40 prisoners and there's 36. Yeah, we've designed these to hold 36 prisoners, so there should be a little bit of overlap in space and then we just put in one kitchen for every block of 36 prisoners. Smaller kitchens, smaller amounts of people in one place, less likely to have uh, arguments, less likely to have everything, and all of their needs are being taken care of. And money is just... Yep, that's, uh, that's 10 grand a profit a day. That means we can expand quite rapidly. Oh, and wow, that finished rather quickly. I swear, I only queued up those walls like just a minute or two ago. I will put in a gate there and we'll make sure that that door servo is connected back to door control system. Now, oh, and uh, one thing to realize, oh, actually, I'm thinking, do we have two gates? Uh, might be an idea to have two gates. It couldn't hurt. It seems that if a, a vehicle appears here, it just sort of plows straight through that road gate. I think having it that close to the edge of the map doesn't work. Mm. Now, let's extend on the prison here. We need at least one more block, and we'll have to extend on the patrol route as well. Uh, let me think. What the? How? Who lets prisoners out here? That's... Mm, that drives me nuts. Okay, uh, deployment? No, no. Deployment. Yes. Would you say this is a staff-only area? Yes, this is a staff-only area out here. No one else is allowed. Oh my god, get those prisoners out of there. This is just... Well... Right. Like, I'm, I'm not surprised that someone got walled in. It's just... I'm sort of surprised it's a prisoner that got walled in. That's not even set to a cell. What are you doing there? Uh, someone want to get him out of there? Muppets. Finished! Just look at that! It's beautiful! Uh, we haven't actually put in the yard yet, but uh, that is grand. All we have to do is demolish these walls, open this place up for the rest of the general population. Oh, and we should put ourselves on a little bit of a door there as well, just to make sure that... Yep, the yard is walled in. I like to have doors in all of these sections just because. Then we just do a quick copy-paste copy, jobby. Uh, just give me that, put that right there, and done! And that should allow us to go all the way up to 100 prisoners. Well, once we put in the cells themselves. Yep, you're for all cells. You're for all cells. How do we only have 100? I'm missing... Oh, 106. Never mind. There we go. 106. That is exactly what we wanted. That's nice. Now, if we could compartmentalize the cooking as well, that means we could have 100 prisoners that pretty much stay all in this area, except if they want, say... Medical attention, psychologist, parole, everything like that. It limits their interaction with each other. That's sort of what we want. And then if you have that, you can just scale it up hugely, which is also what we want. Downside. Days without incident maxes out at 10 grand. That's actually a problem. Uh, that means once we double up in size, we'll be making 20 grand because we're only getting 5 grand from all the prisoners currently with the costs associated with it, blah, blah, blah. But... Uh, I think once, yeah, so this becomes less and less important as you go on, which means sardining them in would probably become more powerful. But 
I'm going to worry about that later. For now, I want to figure out how we compartmentalize the kitchens to service each individual block. Actually, before I get around to the kitchens, I've decided to stick in a classroom down here where the yard used to be. You need 20 school desks, it seems to... Well, you don't need 20 school desks, but it does allow you to get the maximum amount of students in. And we need to go into programs, and I want our staff to get taser certification. Uh, there's 20 in the queue. Uh, we shall start that. No. 12 a.m. to 1 a.m.? No. Can we change that to a different time schedule? Ah, they have a whole scheduler section in here. Excellent. No, no, 12 a.m. actually... Yeah, 12 a.m. is fine. They can get their certifications then. Then they have to go to pick up their tasers. The tasers they grab off the weapons rack or... Oh, I don't know. What the hell is that? Some sort of weapons safe. But uh, 12 o'clock in the morning they'll go do that. Uh, at that point, all the prisoners should be safely locked up, so it should be safe for them to do it. See, uh, this is my problem. All of these guys are fighting down here to go in and grab food. Uh, anyone do anything stupid? Yep, a few people interacted. So, uh, yeah, there's more of them. We're up to 100 prisoners. This is causing problems. Well, actually, we're down to 96 prisoners. Either they got paroled or they got deaded. Uh, let's check our money. Oh, that's fine. We're, we're still 34 days without an incident. A serious one. All right, let's, uh, let's see what happens, though, with the taser program. I'm kind of curious. Ooh, there's one other thing we should do as well, and that's bins. Uh, in here, what we've got is a regular bin. We've just got access to recycling bins from one of the things we picked up. So give me a recycling bin there and a recycling bin there. The thing is, recycle bins basically mean that garbage that ends up there in normal bins. Instead of the recycle of it just going into dumping and we get into the fort, we get 20 bucks for recycling. Uh, we can get rid of these old bins, as far as I'm aware, so dismantle you, and we can also dismantle this one. Perfect. Uh, how many prisoners are we up to? 96. Yeah, we're going to have to do a few more parole hearings and set up some more parole places, but first... First... Oh! There they are. They're all training. And how many of you passed? That is the question. Nine past. 90% completion ratio. Okay, well, we still got all the rest to do it, so we'll wait until they're all finished, we get all of them done, and then we'll uh, we'll move on to the kitchens. All right, that's another batch they've gone through taser training, and you can see those little yellow thingies they've got hanging off their waist. They're proper tasers. Excellent. Uh, how many are left? I also queued up a bunch of training programs so that we could get them hopefully all through. And uh, 19 past. This is the last one. You you just pass. Come on. don't Don't mess this up. 22 finished. Oh yeah, all 20 have passed. I don't think there's any left to go. Nice. Actually, let's do another couple of programs here. See, what we want to do is get these parole programs working better. The problem is we've had three people pass out of 52. That's probably not considered great. So let's do some foundational education programs. Led by teacher in a classroom session in three hours. Each participant requires a school desk, voluntary. Uh, students sit academic and easy. So, yeah, we'll we'll throw in one of those. In fact, we'll throw in two of those. Remember, we've got 56 people interested, 20 people can do it every day. That should hopefully cut down on, well, their failures at... Why are you guys so weirdly crushed up against the edge? Never mind. It should hopefully cut down on their failures to actually pass the parole hearing. So you would like it if they'd get paroled more, because that gives us more moolah. All right, and... What the hell just happened up there? Uh, I should probably actually start lighting up those corridors as well. They seem kind of dark, but... What are you doing? Who's trashing the place? Uh, that guy needs to be taken down. Huh. I wonder what caused that. I think I'm going to have to change the camera locations. Yeah, I think one in every single one of the yards is a smart plan. That means we're going to need to increase the size of this place. There's a limit to the amount of CCTV cameras you can have linked to it. I'm not sure if this is a good plan or a bad plan, but this is going to be our kitchen. Two cookers, four fridges, one serving table, which should be able to serve about 40, and then these benches in here. So we want to assign this whole section to this section. I'm not sure how annoying this is going to get, though, when you have multiple kitchens and how the whole thing handles it. But let's just start rooming them up and see what happens. That will be one kitchen for you, good sir. One canteen for you. Oh, one second. There we go. Uh, there are no prisoners assigned to this canteen. Well, of course they're not. And I don't think it's time just yet, and I have too many people going in there. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it just yet. First, we'll finish off the walls here. Then what we're going to do is... I think it's utilities? Nope. Logistics! Here we go. Food distribution. Ooh. Yeah, no, 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 no. 
You predicted demand 67 prisoners. No, 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 no. Uh, canteen, we are going to get rid of you. There we go. Much better. I think what we'll do is we'll do it all at once, which is probably not the smartest idea of we've got, but... Oh, what's going on? Why is that in the red? I'm going to have to make some changes here. What we're going to do is build all the kitchens up. Then we're not going to be able to migrate everything from here to there, so... Yeah, whatever. We'll figure it out on the fly. And we can sell off any excess cookers and stuff. There's a way to do that, but we'll cover that once the kitchens are up and running. Well, I've been playing around with this for a while, and all I did was stop this being a kitchen and a canteen, and then these sort of just seem to figure themselves out. If we go under logistics and look at food distribution, this one here is prisoners assigned 35. It seems to have picked up that these two areas are prison cells. That's actually really smart for the game. This says it's going to have about 31 people. This one says it's going to have about 34. Question is, will the chefs go over and do their jobs? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, you know what? We'll find out when it comes time to feed them. If they start rioting and, you know, going a bit nuts, we'll f be sure it doesn't work. Uh, anyone want to get on that? Let's see where our cooks. Well, the chefs seem to be cooking. Actually, how many chefs do we have? We have seven. Give me an eight. We're going to want eight of them. Two for each place because there is two hobs in each one. So two hobs, two hobs, two hobs. Oh. Wait, do we need three hobs? Two, four, six. Damn it, I might have needed three hobs to make this work correctly, or three hobs in each one. Uh, I suppose we'll find out soon enough. All right, seems to be kind of working. Might want to start putting metal detectors around here and stuff like that to make sure that on their way in and out they get checked for cutlery before they start stabbing each other. Uh, we'll have to make a few more changes. Also, we'll have to move around some of the dog patrols. Uh, another thing I did was, let's check under regimes here. When it comes down to work and free time, we've actually got... Well, that's when they're most likely to be in here in these areas. The, uh, the... Ah, the yards. So what we've done is we've set up a couple of patrols. So this should... A couple of guards should show up now to patrol these areas. Patrols are set up during deployment. Patrols... Uh, we set up the patrol here and we set it under yellow, number four. And basically we said between 8 to 12 and 4 to 8 p.m., which lines up with uh, their work slash free time areas. We're going to have two guards patrol this area and this area and this area, just to cut down on the potential for violence. I think we're also going to do the same to canteens, once I put some lights in there as well. That seems to be working so far, but we're going to need to let that run for a bit to make sure that none of the prisoners' needs go too high. We want to make sure they're all getting fed. This system does not appear to be perfect. I mean, there's a little bit of inefficiencies. We've got an extra cook and an extra hob going on, but it's working. They're all going in, they're eating in the correct diners, or canteens, all of the cooks are, like, this is just compartmentalized so well that we don't have to worry too much. I do have to throw in a few metal detectors and things like that, but I think this is working fine. In fact, we might put a metal detector outside every single cell, uh, actually no, that's a little bit too much. Say, make this the only entrance to every canteen, and then put a metal detector outside it. So three metal detectors would cover this entire sector. That might do. I don't know. What's the power draw on these things? This is just... Oh, this is just working exactly like I kind of wanted to. We've managed to separate out most of the prisoners. And this whole area down here is freed up, which means we can start cramming in more stuff like parole offices, classrooms, things like that. Uh, maybe another psychologist or three. And in fact, let's just demolish this area because, well, we don't need the kitchen or the canteen down here and all the security cameras and everything that went with it. We don't even have security cameras in the canteens. Hmm. If we can keep the population low enough... That they don't get into enough fights, this should save us so much hassle. Oh, oh, we got some yellow flags over here. I think someone's trying to escape out through this section. Let's do a quick search the cell. Yeah, let's search that entire cell pretty quick. And is there fights going on or something? Sometimes I hear noises, I'm never sure what. Come on, come on, get in there. That might be a false alarm though. Sometimes it is a false alarm, so you just gotta go with it. In fact, but let's just search it again, to be sure. After multiple searches, there's no tunnel, so we're reasonably safe. Oh, and when it comes to utilities, you're not supposed to put these big water pipes through wall. Well, if a tunnel happens and they get near one of these big water pipes, this is sort of like an accelerator. They can dig much faster around water, big, thick water pipes. The thin ones doesn't seem to help them, but the thick ones do. So it's a good idea to not maybe put those too close to the edge. Now, what we've made sure is there is another perimeter wall out here. If they want to dig out, they'll have to dig the entire way over here to this section before they can escape. If they dig out into this section, it doesn't help them. They're still surrounded by walls. 
Now, they could try digging over this direction as well, but they should theoretically go for there. In fact, uh, we'll be expanding out the map in a little bit. In fact, yeah, let's do that right about now. Yeah, that costs 30 grand. Yeah, we can, we, we can afford that quite handily. In fact, I'm thinking we double up. We might want to put in a few more uh, classrooms, programs, that type of stuff, but right now, we're able to hold all of these people quite handily. Our cost efficiency has gone down a bit, namely because we've had to hire in a few extra cooks, and we've tried to make this as scalable as possible, but now that we've got this up and running, it should just be a case of stamping down more of these. Ooh, we can literally see the game processing in real time as it's figuring out, yes, this entire area is sealed in. All right, that's all for staff. We've basically expanded our walls out. Now we're going to chuck on a whole bunch more cells. I think we could double our capacity quite handily. Oh, and we had a prisoner death, so our cash flow has decreased quite substantially because of a prisoner death. I, I, I didn't even notice it happening. Large construction projects are going to take a bit of time. I'm thinking more staff. We've only got eight workmen, so... Yeah, there you go. In fact, let's just make it 20. The plan is to expand as quickly as possible, and not having enough workmen could definitely hurt us. Oh, wow, that is so much stuff we've got to get. Ugh. It's fine. It's fine. They can... We're basically turning this entire place into one giant room to start, and then we're going to go on from there. And I've decided to keep this whole idea of these, uh, these little high-speed ways down on each side, just to help speed up the construction everywhere. Ooh. Almost finished. Almost. That unloading took far too long. All right, let's double our population as quickly as we can. We'll get up to uh, 200 prisoners, then three, then four. I forgot how long it takes to build this. I, I mean, we're effectively just doubling our prison population. Oh, and we've thrown in a second classroom, and I'm thinking we're also going to need to put down, well, a church so we can do some spiritual stuff. How's everyone's needs looking after all of this? Pretty good, except for the whole alcohol thing. Uh, you know, we've got a common room, so we could probably set up one of those programs. Where is it? Alcoholic group therapy. There's only nine of you, but you know what? We'll play, pay for it. It's only 200. Quick alcohol anonymous groups ter- Unscheduled? Why not? There's a classroom right there. Oh, wait, there's a common room. Ah, the psychologist was too busy doing other stuff. Hey, we'll have one group therapy for the alcoholics going on. I mean, it's probably not a good time to be solving their problems when they're in jail, but it is kind of hard to get booze in here, I'd say. All right, let's uh, scale this up substantially. And considering the money, let's make the prison cells nicer. I mean, it should make it easier to keep them contained. Also, we're getting complaints. 77 prisoners are currently living in cells which do not meet their entitlements. They're not entitled to anything in this prison, okay? They get to live and eat, and we don't beat them daily, so I'm going to call that a win for them. All right, there is definitely a tunnel around here somewhere. I need to do a whole... Look, we need to do a tunnel search. Just a massive tunnel search for this entire region. There's just no way around it. Um, I've tried searching both of these sectors already and nothing has shown up. So I'm thinking the moment it hits nighttime, we're going hardcore. We're just going to do an entire shakedown of the prison doing a tunnel search of every single toilet. And we're going to do it and do it again and again until eventually we find it. All right, what time is it? Where are we on the regime? Uh, after this, once it hits uh, lock-up time at 11 p.m., that's when we're going to start cranking through every single toilet, because that's when they do most of their digging. They do it in the middle of the night. Yeah. That's frustrating. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll figure this out. Just, I don't... There's already a tunnel out here. How have we not located this thing yet? I've searched it... <clears throat> How many have escaped? Zero escapes? Mm. And how are these people outside the wall? For the love... How many times do I have to say staff only? It keeps changing it. No matter what I do, it keeps changing it back. Like, no, staff only. And it's like, no, 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 no. It, it's, it's for everyone. Like, no, it's staff only. Stop freaking allowing people out here. All right, and that tunnel needs to be located. Uh, what time is it? I It just is just annoying me now. Uh, you guys, you're going to go eat. Everyone goes to their own little canteen. And where is this going? Because I have literally searched every single toilet in these two cell blocks like three times. Three, four times already? Actually, four times already. And nothing has been found. So I think Randy is uh, not being friendly to me here. All right, everyone is back in their cells. In that case, tunnel search all sectors right about now. Go for it. Nothing. Nothing. Well, I can literally see the tunnel. Right, that is depressing. You, 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 there's literally one place left to search and you've got no okay do it again and we're going to keep doing it until you find it finally oh my god <laughs> why did that 
Like, I have searched all of these rooms several times. Like, those flags have been showing up for ages. I have... Oh. Well, in that case, let's just make sure that whole thing gets sealed in. Oh, my God. Remove, yeah, let's remove those tunnels, too. Oh, wow. How... I searched every single one of those cells four times, and you didn't find it even though so many toilets were hooked up? That is... rather impressive. Okay, then. Uh, right, I need to do those uh, those tunnel searches far more frequently from now on. Down here, we are making improved cells, ones that are much higher quality. And hold on a second while we expand that out and cover this entire area in them. Yeah, this is much easier. You don't have to worry about prisoners interfering, and you have loads of cash, and you can just, like, churn out all of the stuff you need. I mean, okay, it's still a little bit slow unloading sometimes when we queue up a large amount, but we should be able to finish this area out, put in all the kitchens, and then just double our population all in one fell swoop. So I think I'm going to move all the prisoners out of here. I want to make a whole bunch of really nice prison cells over here. Um, ooh, actually, that reminds me. You know what? I'll, I'll go through it at the end, how we crank it up as high as we can while still keeping the cells as small and minimalist as possible. Almost done. Once we've got all these kitchens and canteens set up, we, we're not actually assigning any of these out, none of these cells, none of these solitary. This is our entire prison for now, and we're still making more than enough cash that it doesn't matter. Also, I'm pretty sure a prisoner died at some point, but that doesn't seem to matter. So, right. oh, well, these guys are finally getting their AA meetings on. So, again, under needs, we are looking at pretty much covered all across the board, except for the alcoholism. Seriously? Well, I kind of understand that. Everything else, though, it's just, it's been smashed. So we don't really have to worry about too many problems, except for tunnels, which, yeah, we're going to be a little bit more stringent about that in future, and I'm going to have to look up a seeing about changing our warden. There's wardens that get bonuses towards finding tunnels. I think that's our only real concern right now. Money-wise, everything-wise... Oh, power station is overloaded. Yeah, well, there's stuff you keep forgetting. You know what? Let's just stick in... We've got the money, so let's just make sure we don't worry about power again for a while. Done! Perfectly simple. Right. Now that this is done, let's go and crank up these cells to the absolute maximum. Well, absolute maximum is a bit excessive. We're not going to go that crazy. Room quality here. You'll notice all of these things. Uh, room has to be at least six squares and gives you plus one. If you do nine squares, you get another plus one on top of that, so you can move to plus two. Sixty. No, we're not going above six squares. Six squares is plenty fine. If they get an outdoor window, they get plus two. If they get no window, they get a minus one. However, there's a way around this. You can't get rid of the lack of a window, but what you can do is just stick in a window. Um, right, so let's just say stick a window right there, in between these two crowds. This doesn't give them a view of anywhere except their next-door neighbor's cell, and that's a little bit creepy and all, but once it's installed, we can go right back in here, check on room quality, and you'll see there's no window is minus one, and now the no window is gone. It doesn't give you the plus one, but it gets rid of the minus one. Kinda nice. Also, there's this soft pillow you can get. It's an item below the pet bird. The soft pillow gives you a plus one, and soft pillows can just be thrown on top of a bed. They don't even take up space. So this is the soft pillow object, and you can't seem to copy-paste these. So you have to literally manually go around and stick one of these in every single cell. This is just going to be painful. Since we're going to be upgrading all of the... Well, what I want to do is upgrade all of this section to this kind of quality. So I think what we're going to do is just transfer all the prisoners over here. Remove these places as cells, make all of these places cells, and done. Uh, though we kind of want to do it when they're not eating. Uh, and they're not in their cells. The regime at. Hey, once you go to work and free time, we're going to try an awful lot of rescheduling. After assigning kitchens, canteens, cells, all that stuff, I think, what are you missing? There are no prisoners assigned to eat at this canteen. That is fine for now. Let's have a quick check on the logistics, because I'm sure it's going to be interesting. Uh, food distribution. Uh, you're feeding that, you're feeding that. Oh, no, you should only be going to there. That's happened before. Uh, you should be for this cell block. Uh, I don't think there's any prisoners assigned just yet, but that's okay. We're going to start unassigning prisoners from here, and I think we're going to hire a few more cooks just to get us over the hump here. So, yeah, a few more cooks will be fine. Now time to unassign all of the prisoners from this area. This is uh, going to get interesting. All right, none of you ourselves. In fact, we're going to unassign everything. Done. And why is that not getting water? You know what? Not going to care. All right, they should all get assigned to cells over here, and these cells are far improved. If we check under logistics, logistics and room quality, you can see they've got 
Actually, we put we find large windows. Large windows actually give a plus one, even if they're not looking out onto anything. So we've got room size plus one, large window plus one, item uh, for the shower head, bookshelf, pet, bird thingy, soft pillow, punch bag, and a comfy bed. I think that's the most we can cram into this tiny little area. And done-ish? I mean, I don't know if that'll be good enough for all the prisoners. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's just fast forward and see what happens. Oh, they're all going into the holding cell, so they'll have to be assigned from there. Oh, that could be interesting. All right. Er, uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to hire a few more staff just to tide us over this. Yeah, it'd be fine. You could move those over super quick. That would be great. Also, unassign everything from these kitchens and canteens. Uh, yeah, what's going on over here? Kid done? I think. Now let's just check the logistics of this. We've got to make sure everything's set up correctly. Food. Yeah, you seem to be working. All right, what are you set up to do? Nope, 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 damn it. You to there. You to there. Done. You just want to make sure that this kitchen is feeding this canteen. We don't want any of them cross-pollinating. That should be that. You're assigned 23, you're assigned 36, you're assigned 36, and I think that's enough. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, there is a tiny piece of a kitchen left because I didn't unassign it yet. There we go. Perfect! That's everyone transferred over to nice new shiny quarters and no one's complaining. Ah, oh, damn it. They keep requesting their, to visit their family. I don't think they need it, though. I think we're not going to bother with a family visitor center because, well, needs. They're, uh, yeah, family's fine. They've got birds. All right, they're now completely attracted to birds. Family doesn't mean anything to them. Four prisoners are parole, but we've got two parole officers. I think we're good. So now we just got to upgrade all of these cells to match these ones, and I think... We can double our population. After demolishing a bunch of these beds, we've got a problem. There, there's just not enough room in the storage room for them. And we don't want these objects anymore, so what we're going to do is we're going to sell them. And you can just sell them directly from here. So, yeah, you can all go. In fact, just everything in here can go. We, we don't really care. There's a few duplicates and stuff, but it's not really a big deal. In fact, can we just sell them from there directly? That just saves a bunch of time. Perfect. A little bit of... Minor few changes here and there, and all the comfy beds are installed. We even stuck in some windows. This whole place has been completely upgraded. Right, what's that? What's that regime time? Okay, they're currently doing their work free, so... Ugh, no, I think I'll wait till they're sleeping. Once they're sleeping, we'll do it again. Then we can make sure that all the kitchens get set up, all of the benches, all that thing. And that way, when we bring in the excess prisoners, it'll all hopefully line up correctly. We would hate for our prisoners to miss a meal. I think they can get away with missing one and not be horribly mean to everyone, but... Actually, no. We'll do it here. We'll do it during this time frame. That way we can import some prisoners tonight and start filling up these areas. I just really hope that the kitchens and canteens and cell blocks don't get confused with each other. This is... There's a lot of cells. We have... We're going to be up to 200 prison cells at this point. Then we can go about, well, expanding it to 500. And then eventually 1,000. I'd like to see what it takes to get up to 1,000, how much the game handles it, and then maybe see about going on to maximum security, or seeing if this kind of cell setup would work with maximum security. I'm kind of curious. Well, that's everything installed. Let's, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's check under logistics for food distribution. No. No, 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 no. You're going there, and you're going there. You are not going there. And you're not going there. You you all need to go. Perfect. And you also need to go. God damn it. I can't seem to manage this. It gives me the option to, like, cancel things. But then I can't get someone else to take up the slack. It just automatically takes right back over, no matter what I do. That is, um, very frustrating. I would really like to claim these cells for this canteen. It doesn't really matter how I do it. What? There is no... Uh, damn it. Oh no, I think I know what I need to do. I think I need to reverse this, as in flip this 180 degrees and have both canteens touching each other. Oh, that means we're going to have to demolish this entire block. Oh my god. Mm. We're, we're going to need a really large storage room to hold all of the junk we, that gets demolished out of here. Oh well, needs must as the devil drives, I suppose. I'm sorry, we've got to unassign you and move you all back to the other side again. Oh well, it is what it is. Then we're going to make a giant storage room here to store all of this junk while we reconfigure this entire sector back to a mirror image of this. Shouldn't take more than a couple of hours, it'll be fine. 
And this, this is why you always design things in sandbox mode. This is only mildly painful, but it'll be fine. So long as the, the food works out when we mirror image it, I won't be annoyed. It should work out. It should, in theory. Oh, God, I hope it does work. As you can see, our storage location is quite full. But on the bright side, we don't have to get in nearly so many deliveries to get this all done because all of the beds and everything are already in storage. And I think I'm going to tweak where I put the yards as well. I think we'll put the yards at the front instead of at the back. That saves us a bunch of hassle. Hmm. All right, let's finish this sucker off. It should be fairly quick from here on out. We know what we're doing. Uh, this is my, what, my third time building this? This is our unit of measurement. 36 prisoners, a yard, three solitary confinements, and a bunch of prayer mats to keep them all happy. And we are just going to clone that whole thing. And we... Because, oh, actually, right to there, I think, is sufficient. And then we just stuck that right there. And, no oh, second one can go right there, I think. Yeah, actually, we don't really need the back wall, do we? You know what? That's fine. We can just uh, copy that right there. We will be missing a few things, namely the wall lights, but the wall lights can be put in fairly quick. And done. In fact, some of the wall lights are already there from our uh, our last attempt. Pretty handy. And we got most of that stuff in storage, so all they got to bring in is bricks, so it's not going to clog up our d delivery section. It's done. Everything is back to pretty much where it was, just mirror imaged now. This should, in theory, work. We just got to assign everything out, which should only take a minute. We're going to assign a lot, and then we're just going to see if it selects what it's supposed to. All rooms assigned. Everything's looking a little bit wonky, but let's just let it kick in. Ah, there we go. Game's starting to catch up. Kitchens and all that are also going to be a bit wonky, but they'll be fine. They'll figure it out, hopefully. Uh, food distribution. Uh, no. Why are they all going back to the core ones? They should be going back to the closer ones. Why not? Predicted demand. Ah, finally figured out what I was doing wrong. I had deployment off, like, uh, for some reason... Okay, probably because I kept clicking it. This entire area was set to staff only, which meant none of the prisoners in here could get to the shared facilities. But now that we've gotten rid of that, and this is now a shared corridor that prisoners can use, if we go under logistics and check the food distribution, it is actually working. Which is miraculous. I didn't think that was going to happen. Perfect. So that means everyone over here gets fed by these places, everyone over here gets fed by these places, and they should just work. Which means we should start cranking up the prisoners. Though, so I've run into a different issue now, and that's to do it needs. It seems literature no longer works. The literature bookshelf in here no longer works since we switched out the beds. Uh, also luxuries. So they're not getting their luxuries or their literature because we changed the bed type? I have no idea why. That just makes no sense to me. I think what we could try to do is ripping out the beds, but that's too expensive. So I'm just going to fill the prison up. I don't care. I, don't, I just don't. Uh, we're going all the way up to... Can this? Can we just hold that down? Yeah, that seems much better. Perfect. We're going to cap out at about 200, and we're going to see how, the, how it, that works out. Payment, 45 grand. That's nice. We're making 16 grand a, a day at the moment. And 10 grand of that is because we haven't had an incident in 35 days. There's some good prisoners. Let's see what happens when we add in another 100 of them. One thing we do want to do, though, is put in some patrols. Uh, yeah, we want to give us blue patrol. We're going to want it through here. Anywhere where there's a yard, we want a patrol going around. In fact, we'll shorten that to just the early stages of the yard. We don't really care about the rear ones. And then we'll just assign guard set, and we've set it up here on level four that all of these, they're all set to, um, well, they only go between these hours when there's people around. Uh, to there... Uh, two on this one, and two on these ones. Whenever they have free time to hang around in the yard, there will be two guards to hang around with them and make sure they don't do anything stupid like punch people or stab them. Or was that a drill? What the hell? How did you get a drill? How are you supposed to use a power drill on some... You know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's get as many prisoners in here as we can and see what happens. Oh. That's a few prisoners. Um... Maybe you should have slowly incremented the amount of prisoners coming in. It'll be it'll be fine. Just, uh, yeah, they're going to be pretty unhappy for a little bit until we get the rest of the people in there. But it's okay. they got to go through the same decontamination as everyone else. We've got a dog guy here just to make sure anyone going by. And we've also got those metal detectors to make sure they're not bringing in any shivs or anything. Perfect. 198 prisoners. Uh, money. 28 grand. Looking good. Looking good. Now, here's the thing. 
we've got a death down here in the church. Yeah, it's pretty actually common that a lot of fighting happens down here in the church. And I have no idea why it happened. Like, just none. Um, like, how am I supposed to figure out what caused it? Was it a weapon got in or was someone very unhappy about something? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm still really irritated by the fact that all of their needs have gone back up again. Uh, I think changing the beds has messed it up, but I don't want to, like, swap out 200 beds. That just takes too long. Well, at least they're getting fed, anyway, and everything else seems to be working out fine. Oh, damn it, I forgot to wall in some of these solitary confinement cells. Hey, three grand from early release rewards program. Perfect. Uh, it does cost us a few bucks to get some of these classrooms going, though, but we have... Two foundational educational programs, one general education program. Ac wow, we might want to actually increase that one and increase that one. Oh, damn it, we don't have space for that one. I think we're going to need another classroom. It's just once we started pu putting them through the classrooms, this drastically increased the amount of people who were successfully making parole hearings. So the parole pro ah, originally we were getting about 7% of the people were getting out on parole, now it's up to 23% and climbing. So what we're going to do, keep educating the prisoners, they get paroled, then we get in new ones, we rinse and repeat, and that just gets us more money. Though, I would like to expand this out until we've got, say, about 500 at least to start, and then go up to as far as 1,000. Might want to scale up the laundry, and it's just, we don't really need to build much more. Like, I thought we were going to need this entire area down here and then expand down to even put in all of the support infrastructure, but we don't. Because the cells have most of the stuff they need, canteens have the rest, and then that means we can just extend this on. Or we could extend it up. Hmm. Let's scale it up to a thousand next time round. I think two hundred will do for now, but next round I want to see if we can't hit a thousand before the end. And we've kind of ironed out all the kinks of this. Well, actually no. I'll have to do some experimenting on the side to see if this bed is causing the problem. I think what's happening is the comfy bed doesn't allow you to use uh, Get Luxury once you ha from the pet bird once you have it. Because none of the none of them are getting any luxury out of that pet bird since we changed beds. It might just be the bed we had was working and the luxury one doesn't. And literature, same thing. So if we change the beds, maybe those two get handled again and we can make things simpler. We could, of course, just, you know, put in a shop and put in a library. But no, not a chance. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. Next up, a thousand prisoners. I hope you enjoyed and good luck. Bye.